Message to light workers, a Nassar Q&A. The latest guidance from the Galactics, Earth Elementals, Ascended Masters, Fairy Elders, and Angelic Beings known as the Collective. Greetings, dear ones. We are pleased to speak with you on matters concerning the National Economic Security and Reformation Act, called Nassar Law. First, Understand that many in the Western world have been trained to think of Nasara in terms of money alone. Though abundance is a great blessing, Nasara is far more than a matter of monies dispersed to light workers and others working on behalf of humanity and the higher good of the earth. It is far more than weapons put down, wars ended, the planet's climate stabilized, debt erased, illness and hunger ended, and aggressions dissolved. It is more than space travel and development of higher abilities such as telepathy and telekinesis. It is even more than the opportunity for humankind to finally be free of the shackles of many centuries of oppressive rule from usurpers and warmongers. Nasara is all of that, yet it is far more than all of that, because it is about ascension. Nasara is about divine government, not because that is the cure to all ills, but because that is humanity's way of finally permitting the freedoms, the sovereignty of all beings, to fully occur on this planet. It is a powerfully conscious step forward into fifth dimensional living. This plan first began in the United States, with Saint Germain's original vision of a new Atlantis being rooted in that continent. The forms created there would then spread throughout the world, as more and more countries saw what was possible for a free society, and as increasing levels of light spread throughout human consciousness. The United States was never originally intended to be a place of the mass murder of millions of native peoples, mass slavery of millions of Africans, and the mass incarceration and enforced poverty of millions in the present day. It was meant to be, as some envisioned in the 17th century, a city on a hill, a sign to all nations that human sovereignty, human dignity, could indeed be established in ways that no government, no usurper, no king or queen, and no foreign or off-world invader could displace. That dream was put to one side, when the Dark Hat succeeded in bribing, threatening, or assassinating those safeguarding the original ideals of those following and supporting Saint Germain. Yes, he was present in the United States in her early years, and as an immortal, is present there still. Yet this great vision has never died. It comes to fruition through the precepts and provisions of Nasara, created by a group of highly conscious Congress members and one young state senator from Illinois, Barack Obama, approved by Congress, and signed into law by the then president under duress in 2000. Nasara was to be announced the morning of September 11, 2001, and you have witnessed the great lengths that the lost ones, the powerful families, went to to ensure that Nisara did not get announced that day. The wheels are turning powerfully to get Nisara enacted, but one of its greatest delays has been created by light worker investment in one of the most devious schemes ever created by the Dark Hats, known as the Dinar slash Dong slash Zimbabwe Currency Trade-In, or Currency Reval. We see many questions coming to our writer concerning Nisara and this very dark scheme. The information below seeks to inform and to encourage all to not only divest from this false currency reval slash GCR scheme, but to understand that though great sums of money will indeed flow for communities and individuals after Nasara's enactment, that law represents far more than mere money. It is first and foremost a spiritual undertaking, Earth's people actively declaring their sovereignty above all other claims upon them. This is unprecedented for a third-dimensional planet. It requires great vigilance, and some bravery on your parts. But you are fully able, and we are by your side, at every moment. Here is the question and answer form that our writer has created, with our answers, Q&A on Nasara Law and the GCR slash Reval. Question. Who are the White Knights, and what do they do? The Collective. The White Knights comprise 20 million sovereign militia forces working here on Earth, to support Earth's ascension and complete liberation from usurper control. They are the Earth-based portion of the Ashtar Command, answering to Captain Ashtar and Lord Admiral Sananda Kumara. The majority come from Earth, 
and the rest from elsewhere in the universe, though most of these are able to take on the appearance of any earth human. The White Knights work solely within the office of the Christ. In this context, Christ is not used as a modifier for Yeshua's name, but to indicate crystalline or light body higher consciousness. They carry out many different kinds of missions on behalf of the Ashtar Command, in service to humanity and the higher realms. They work tirelessly to support and enable the full enactment of Nisarar law. They do not break ranks in the sense of placating the dark hats in the long run, though they do hide their true identities and missions, as is necessary to ensure their safety and the safe completion of their missions. There are also numerous white hats in government, media, education, medicine, and many other fields. The white hats are not white knights. White hats are simply persons of high ethical standard, conscience, and compassion, who are evolving and wish to support the evolvement and ascension of Earth and her people, whether they would describe their work in those terms or not. Question. Where did the whole currency reval slash GCR idea come from? The Collective. The White Knights have reported that the Dinar Dong Zimbabwe scheme was created by Hillary Clinton, current leader of the Bush Clinton Family Crime Syndicate, and former U.S. Senator Phil Graham and his wife Wendy, in 2004. This is a very dark scheme, intentionally created as a way to encourage light workers to invest in a currency scheme, in part so that they would view Nisara, there is no Gisara, purely in terms of money. Most light workers are unaware that the money invested in those currencies was used to create hedge funds that in turn have funded black operations, covert military attacks, all over the planet. These actions have killed millions of innocent people, and injured, traumatized, and left homeless millions more. They occur mainly in countries where the cabal are stealing oil, running drug dealing and human trafficking operations or wanting to monopolize access to the Stargates, among other schemes. These are the places where they are highly motivated to keep the local population in fear and chaos, such as the Middle East. They have also been trying to start World War III in countries such as Syria for quite some time. Millions have purchased dinars, dongs, or Zimbabwe's, believing the false channelings on numerous disinformation websites which stated that those currencies could be traded in, once Nisara was enacted, and that those holding those currencies would then become millionaires. Yet in so doing, they not only disqualify themselves from Nisara funds once the law is announced, as this is a very dark scheme, they are also endangering their very lives. Question. How is that? If someone is holding these currencies, what's the worst thing that can happen? The collective. Those currencies have been marked both ethnically and physically, so that when light workers come forward to trade in their dinars, dongs, or Zimbabwe's, after a false reval announcement, they can be spotted immediately, arrested, and detained, and if this scheme is fulfilled, killed. Though disinformation agents represent dark interests, mixing truth with fear based lies to keep light workers confused in thought and energy, White Knights have confirmed that one well-known reporter was correct when he stated in a November 2016 post that a source in one of the families that owns the Federal Reserve Board had told him that all fund blockages we are experiencing in the USA are due to the Bush Clinton and Rothschilds and Rockefeller crime families. We were told that they issued a firm threat that the entire family would be killed of anyone who releases or receives any of the RV, redemption bonds, or currency exchange funds. Of course it is understandable that many would initially fall for this scheme. They are used to believing any channeling they read on the internet to be authoritative and trustworthy, though unfortunately, many are not. Many are also exhausted from years of financial struggle. Others have dreams of engaging in humanitarian projects that will help to heal the planet and humanity. But understand that all currencies will be equal to one another after Nisara is fully enacted and that Nisara will be a fifth dimensional moment, not an elevated or revised third dimensional moment. This is what so many have yet to grasp, because they do not dare allow themselves to envision that far and that high. Knowing this, and knowing mass dependency on published material, 
even that which is highly questionable, the dark hats have disseminated information through even well-intentioned websites and channelers, catching both them and all who invest in this scheme in a very dark place. Those holding these currencies unwittingly belong to a dark etheric matrix that is draining them of their life force. We very powerfully encourage all holding these currencies to immediately trade them in, or to burn them. There will be plentiful abundance once Nisara is announced. Do not cut yourselves off from that very high and joyful moment, by investing financially and energetically in this very low moment. Question. What is the conflict between Nisara and the currency reval scheme? Why can't I do both? The Collective. Those who are holding the dinars, dongs, or Zimbabwe's, will not only be denied Nasara funds. As we have noted elsewhere, holding on to those currencies also holds them etherically in a very dark energy matrix that is spending some of their life force to support dark operations around the world. That, and not the financial aspect, is the worst part of the scam. And it is why all white knights have been powerfully encouraging people to either immediately trade in these currencies, or to burn them. Some believe that yes, perhaps this currency scheme was from the dark at one point, but it's since then been brought into the light, because the cabal don't want people to have wasted their investment. Such rationalizations are simply an extension of the old system of fraud and deceit. They are the opposite of Nasara as these ideas are still fear and scarcity based. This is the old system made a bit new that the Dark Hats have been pushing for in negotiations with the Ashtar Command and Intergalactic Councils, a continuation of the old system in which they still have power and control, with a few concessions made to the slave and wage slave classes. It holds no light, and human consciousness is moving very quickly beyond such. The tendency for many is to cling fearfully to what they have already bought into, as they are fearful of taking on new information. This is not a painful truth, just a surprising one, given the scale of disinformation and lies that have been disseminated. But this refusal to accept that they have been scammed is actually holding back the enactment of Nasara. That is how much human belief systems and human actions mold and create the circumstances you live in. Question. I am a newbie to Nasara and Gisara. If Nasara cancels all credit debt, mortgages, car loan debt, etc., how old does a debt have to be in order for it to be dissolved? Also, don't you think there will be a lot of sadness and confusion for the people who have worked hard all their life to get out of debt, then Nasara comes along and doesn't benefit the people who were loyal and paid their bills? I think there will be a lot of upset people. Help me understand what Nasara really means. The Collective Thank you for these excellent questions, dear one. First, Gisara cannot exist, except under a one-world government, and you are not going toward that notion, you are going away from it, into complete human freedom and sovereignty. Second, it matters not whether a debt is 10 minutes old or 90 years old, the banks and credit institutions will be all dissolved under Nasara and so will the entire system of debt as you know it, and replaced by a fair and equality-based system of precious metals-backed currencies. Only personal loans, money borrowed from a friend or family member, for example, will need to be repaid. Regarding those who worked hard and paid their bills, that was their choice, to engage in and support the current financial system. That was their individual path and experience. Another's path and another's choices have nothing to do with anyone else's path. Most have followed the current system because they have no idea that any other system could be created. They have lived numerous earth lives under a dark and heavy matrix that has steadily informed them that debt slavery is the only existing reality and that they endanger their lives or quality of life by not obeying it. There is a far higher perspective from which to view human life rather than the perspective that others do not deserve because I have worked harder than them. All benefit from Nasara, if they are in the light, or choose to come into the light. And Nasara is far more than money and debts dissolved. As we note above, it is about human sovereignty and the move as a planet into fifth-dimensional consciousness. Under that unity-based ideal, 
There is no need for competition or the feeling that some have it unfairly easy, while others have it unfairly hard. All such comparisons fall to the wayside, except for those who prefer to remain in the struggle of third-dimensional consciousness. Question. As a light worker, I find great comfort in the words of the collective. I understand and believe them, so I have less fear about what is happening right now. I have friends who are not there yet. For example, I have a friend who is so kind and smart. She is Jewish and quite afraid. I want to comfort her or give her reason to hope, but if I tell her, don't worry, it's just part of the ascension, she'll think I'm crazy. Or maybe I should. My question is, what can we tell our friends who aren't aware of the ascension process? How can we comfort them? The Collective Another excellent question. We would say that telling someone something can be helpful, but is in no way as effective, powerful, or impressive a statement as simply allowing them to see how joyfully you yourself are living your life. If you are at peace, if you know that all is well, even given the current apparent turbulence in world events, if you yourself are radiating the joy of not only Nasara but of fifth dimensional life, then others cannot help but notice. They will then ask to know how it is that you are so self-assured, so fulfilled, so aware of abundance, and constantly thankful for it, including the fact that all on the planet is moving steadily toward greater joy and peace. You might forward one of our channeling emails to friends from time to time, if you feel they are open to such. But in general, sending light from your heart to theirs, and simply telling them inwardly, all is well, is a beautiful gift. That, and the gift of your own joyful, generous, kind, and loving presence. This is what you yourself value. And so, merely share it with others, as much as you can, and as much as they are willing to accept. Question. And how can Nasara exist, without Gisara? Nasara only applies to the USA, and there are people around the world who have invested in these currencies, hundreds of millions of people. I heard that the White Hats decided not to dismiss and disclose to the public that it was just a scam. The Collective Another excellent question. Nasara exists without Gesara for the above stated reason, there is to be no one world government, in the sense that all are under dark hat control. A cooperating body of nations is not the same as this. Nasara does indeed apply first to the United States. But once enacted there, its precepts and provisions will be modified to suit every nation and every culture, so that all peoples throughout the world have more than enough abundance and the human rights and freedoms that fifth dimensional living requires. Many are waking up now to the fact that the currency reval scheme belongs to the dark agenda, though it has been cloaked in terms that light workers are highly susceptible to. Belonging to this scheme connects one ethnically to the violence and bloodshed occurring in many places around the planet. This is not only an ethnically dark connection, but an utterly unnecessary one, as Nasara will bless with great abundance to all who are not supporting such schemes. The currency reval scheme both holds back the announcement of Nasara, and endangers and dims the light and life force of those involved in it. There are no white knights who support this scheme and numerous light workers are now awakening to the truth of what is behind it. Those white hats who are able to speak of the dangers of the scheme will continue to do so. Again, we encourage all to consider that Nasara law's full enactment is not a thing to be waiting for, but something to daily envision, give thanks for, and celebrate as if it were already announced. This beats the completion of all steps being taken to create it fully in your midst. You came to be powerful co-creators, not hapless recipients of someone else's idea of how you should live. Nasara is about just that sort of empowerment, behold it fully, and live it fully, brave ones. You are no one's followers, and no one's slaves. We are with you, always. Channeled by Carolina Oceana Ryan. CarolinaOceanaRyan.com